the new variant of coronavirus, first detected in the UK, has been found in Canada. Health authorities in the province of Ontario said that two cases have been identified in a couple with no known travel history or high-risk contacts. The variant strain has also been found in Japan and several European countries. It comes as the rollout of the coronavirus vaccine begins to pick up momentum. The BBC's Tim Ullman has the report. Time is of the essence in the fight against COVID-19. Here at this nursing home in northeast Germany, the vaccination programme has begun a day early. Health workers said they weren't prepared to wait for the European Union's coordinated rollout, which was due to begin on Sunday. Clearly, for governments all around the world, it could be a real game changer. This really is a happy Christmas message. At this moment, lorries with the first vaccines are on the road all over Europe, all over Germany. This vaccine is the crucial key for defeating the pandemic. It's the key for us getting back our lives. But as the vaccine spreads in vans and lorries across the continent, so too, it seems, does the new variant strain of the virus. It was first identified here in the UK nearly two weeks ago, leading to tough new restrictions for millions of people. Despite some countries effectively closing their borders to travellers from Britain, the virus has been found in parts of Western Europe and further afield. Japan and now Canada have confirmed positive tests. The new form of the virus is potentially far more infectious, but at this stage it doesn't seem to be any more severe or, crucially, any more deadly. The big question is, will the new vaccines be effective in combating it? It happens every year, for example, with influenza virus. We change the vaccine for influenza pretty much every year because of the evolution of uh, influenza from year to year. The concern would be a similar type thing might happen then with this coronavirus. Mass vaccinations are due to begin across Europe on Sunday. And some potential positive news coming out of Britain reports the so-called Oxford vaccine may be approved within a matter of days. A little hope and optimism as the new year approaches. Tim Ullman, BBC News.